Hey everyone, welcome to this next episode of, I don't know what I want to call this show yet, uh, but welcome to my YouTube channel, and uh, today we're going to do another tasting video, which is going to be predominantly what we'll do here uh, on my channel, and uh, I've got some interesting things that we're going to look at today, actually one interesting thing, but several examples of, and that is a uh, carbonated drink that was introduced to me by a friend of mine. And uh, I'd never really uh, known about uh, this type of product, and uh, it's a product based out of Japan. Uh, it's called Ramune, and it's a carbonated drink. Uh, it looks like this. I'm holding this one up for you to show you um, the uh, product itself. And uh, the Ramune uh, drink itself is very unique in that it uh, not only um, came out of Japan, um, it's um, uh, a very unique bottle that uh, I'll show you in detail here in just a bit when I open it. Uh, one of the unique aspects of this type of bottle is that the drink comes in is that it is a, uh, there's a glass marble at the top here uh, that uh, is part of the product itself. And the glass marble um, is just sort of a unique aspect of the drink itself. If you know more about Ramune and why the glass marble, you know, shoot me a comment below and uh, educate me and let me know. But I know that when I heard about it and I tried it, it was really, really cool. And I, I've only tried one flavor, and so I wanted to do a tasting of other flavors of Ramune today. Now, um, there's a couple of brands uh, that I'll show you when we get to look at the products in a little bit of detail. And I've got three that I'm going to try for you. So let's take a look at uh, the Ramone products that I'm going to show you today. So the three flavors we're going to be trying today as we embark on this Ramone journey are grape, melon, and on the right here we have lychee. Now there's two different brands. The first brand on the left, the first two, are the Sangria brand. And on the right side we have the uh, Shirakiku brand. Shirakiku is the word that you see there on the actual jar itself as I try to bring it into focus for you. Uh, again, this lychee flavor is one I'm excited about because I know that uh, I've really, really loved lychee ever since I tried it several years ago. So these will be the three Ramane brands that we're going to try. And first, let's focus on how do we actually open this bottle right here because it's very very unique. So one of the most unique aspects of the Ramone product that I have here, uh, this is the melon flavor, is the unique lid uh, and as I mentioned at the top of the uh, video uh, that within this lid itself or within this bottle there's a small glass marble that is uh, unique to this type of product. Now to open uh, the bottle. It's also a bit of an exercise in patience and knowing how to do things and how to follow instructions. You'll notice if I kind of turn a bit, the instructions for opening the bottle are here on the side of the label. And so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it tells us to do uh, and uh, open this bottle uh, the way we're supposed to. Uh, obviously, instruction number one says serve the Ramane drink chilled. And then it says, remove the plastic film from the top, pop out the center from the cap, which we'll use to open the bottle. And then we're going to uh, place the opener at the top of the bottle, press down firmly, so forth and so on. Let me just show you what this is going to look like. So you see here the little arrows that tell me where to remove the uh, film around the outside. Of course, it's going to prove difficult because I'm trying to film it. So here we go. So I've removed the uh, plastic outer portion from the lid and again it's going to be difficult because you know why not here we go so I'm going to take this off Whoop, and there goes the lid so we'll move the rest of this here all right so here's what we are left with when we take the lid off the bottle now this is the lid part that popped off now the instructions tell us that we need to remove this inner portion which is what we're going to use to open this bottle. So I'm going to go through the top here. And I'm just going to pop out this portion that you see here in the video. And this is what we're going to use to open the bottle. So I'm going to place it on top here, just like that. 
and I'm going to force it down. You hear the pop, you hear the uh, sound of the glass marble being loosened, and there it is. So we're going to do that to two more bottles, and then we're going to taste this stuff, because I can already tell this is the melon one, and it smells good. So we'll do some tasting, and uh, right after I get the other two bottles open. One of the unique aspects of Ramonet, uh, aside from the fact that it has that unique little marble uh, that I showed you a moment ago, uh, is that it comes in various flavors. Like I said, this product uh, uh, was created in Japan, and it's often associated with uh, the summer festivals and so forth that they have uh, in Japan, and um, just this variety of flavors. And so I'm excited to try it out because of the uniqueness of the bottle itself with a little glass marble, uh, and of course just to see what the different flavors taste like. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, this first one that we're going to do is the grape uh, flavored uh, Ramonet drink. Uh, the brand is Sangaria, and um, it's just labeled as premium carbonated soft drink. And so uh, there's a big red label on the side that says made with real sugar. So um, There's also some unique instructions here on the side uh, that says ask an adult to open the bottle for you. Uh, do not remove the mouthpiece or marble from the bottle because, you know, choking hazard. Uh, don't play with the bottle. Discard after consumption. Don't store it in a freezer or exposed to high temperature because I figure it not only can the bottle burst, but um, that would mean that there'd be a flying projectile. Uh, and of course, don't consume if any part of the bottle is broken. So, all right, bottoms up. The first one is grape. Let's see what it tastes like. That's interesting. There's a um, uh, definitely carbonated, <laughs> uh, and um, there's a slight little sort of underpinning of grape uh, that you can taste uh, in the drink itself. It's not bad. It's delicious. It's refreshing. I had these in the fridge for a while before um, uh, I filmed this, so they're very cold. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little grape flavor. Well, I, I guess I should talk with the bottle away from my mouth. Uh, it's a nice little grape flavor. And part of the trick is to be able to drink it without letting the bottle come up and stop the flow of the drink. And in my research, um, I learned that some people apparently have difficulty that would originally uh, when they first have the drink itself, but no such problem here. Yeah, I'm getting more and more grape as I go along. So, all right, cool. So, okay with the grape. I'm loving the flavor. Uh, this next one is going to be the melon uh, drink, and uh, I probably should see if I can get it. I'm still going to be getting better at showing you guys stuff on camera uh, as I figure out my equipment, but uh, this is melon, and uh, yeah, so we'll give it a go. Oh, yeah, pretty strong melon kick there. Um, Again, I, I love that it's not overpowering. Often with uh, sodas and other carbonated beverages, uh, the sugar content is such that the flavor is very front forward. Um, I'm not saying I mind because, you know, I drink sodas. Uh, everything from, you know, grape and orange sodas like Fanta to strawberry and just your regular classic Cokes and so forth. Um, a lot of root beer in these last few weeks. Uh, but yeah, this this these flavors aren't front forward, um, and but they're still they're delicious. They're refreshing, and uh, you get the carbonation, you get the flavor of the melon, and uh, it's it's really good. The trick to keep the marble from coming to the top is just don't like you know hold it all the way up. Although I wonder what happens when you. No, nothing. Um, of course, I'm also trying not to spill all over myself while I do this. So, uh, so yeah, great, better than the melon. Uh, so that's the melon. This last one, I'm excited about because, as I mentioned, I love lychee. Uh, when I discovered lychee a few years ago, several years ago, um, it was in a lychee mojito, uh, and um, I've just loved lychee ever since. Very sweet lychee fruit uh, is. Um, a product that I have grown to love 
Um, and I don't have enough of it in my life. So this is lychee fruit uh, ramane. This is the Shirakiko brand. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so uh, if you're from Japan or know the language, uh, please correct me and help me to understand how to uh, pronounce things correctly, especially as I do more and more of these videos. Now, because of the subtle flavor of the grape and the melon in the previous two, I'm a little bit, you know, curious as to how front forward the lychee flavor will be because I love lychee. Uh, lychee boba uh, is is one of my favorite go-to flavors when I get uh, boba tea. Uh, someday very soon we'll talk about ding tea. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, Ramane lychee flavor. Hmm. Hold on a minute. The lychee's strong. Um, lychee's already not so much a, a powerful flavor, although it's sweet. Uh, the carbonation does a bit to sort of um, soften the flavor of the lychee in the drink, but I can definitely taste lychee, and it's really, really good. I think from a familiar, familiarity standpoint, the grape uh, would be my favorite of the three that I've tried here. You can have a little marble, and uh, you can see it right there. Uh, the melon is good. The lychee would be second uh, in terms of these three and my thoughts on them. I'm, I'll get better at looking at the camera when I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, lychee flavored ramen. Not too bad. Not too bad. So uh, today we have taken a look at a unique product that was introduced to me a few uh, months ago. And that is the uh, Ramune drink product out of Japan. And uh, the uniqueness of it began with understanding that this product had a marble in the bottle. Not able to see that one as well. But uh, when I tried it, I was really taken by that little feature uh, and I was also taken by the uh, the flavor and how refreshing it is and so I would thought I'd take a look at more uh, today and uh, we did so grape lemon me lemon melon and lychee were the three that we tried and thumbs up on all of them uh, I enjoy them uh, grape of course probably because it's familiar uh, is my favorite of the three and the lychee comes in second with the melon right there at third uh, in terms of these three products. So uh, as always, thank you for joining me uh, and checking out my videos. Uh, as this project progresses, uh, we will have more opportunities to explore great food and uh, food related things. So my goal, uh, as I've been thinking through this project and what it's going to turn into, is kind of threefold. It's tastings like today. I'm also going to be partnering with some friends to go visit restaurants when it's able, when we're able to, and uh, introduce some of my favorite places and favorite places of people I know. So if you're interested in um, eating with me and filming for a video, uh, let me know, and uh, let's explore places together. Uh, and the third aspect of the show will be, uh, is it a show? I think it's a show. It's a video thing, YouTube video show, right? channel. Um, so tastings, eating with friends, and the third aspect um, of this project is going to be um, hanging out with friends uh, while they cook and having them show us some of their favorite dishes that they like to cook. So uh, if that's you, uh, you know where to find me on Facebook. Uh, look up Sergio Barrera. I'll put the information in the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, description in this video. Uh, find me on Facebook, shoot me a message on Messenger. Uh, you can write to me at piggyfatness at gmail.com, P I G G Y P H A T N E S S, at gmail.com and shoot me a line. Let me know that you'd like to be part of this project. And uh, I would love to visit with you and film you cooking your favorite dishes and uh, sharing them with whoever watches, all seven of y'all. I'm kidding. I'm up to ten. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. I encourage others to do the same as we keep producing these. Um, so yeah, that's been this 
episode of this n untitled show so far. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you have ideas for that, shoot me a note. Uh, outside of that, again, give the video a like. If you're on Facebook, give the post a like. Shoot me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. And thank you, as always. Remember, you're awesome, you're amazing, and the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time. Take care.